Hello, everybody. Today, I want to discuss with you topics related to interpretation of our data. And uh, we will discuss different cases and uh, we'll see how it's best to interpret those cases. For this, of course, uh, we need to go to different screens and we go to BioWell program. You see, this is my program. I have it here. Okay, let me keep it somewhere else. Okay, let's keep it here. Okay, and this is my account, but uh, to discuss all these topics, we will switch to another account. For this, we go to log out, and I uh, put account medic, medic. This is uh, an open account, which uh, you can use without any subscription. So you need only to have viable program and you can uh, log into this account. And if we go there, we see many different examples. So in this account, we uh, um, collect different examples related to different cases, but this is only a demonstration account. So it's impossible to do anything at this account. Uh, and at this account, it's, uh, it is impossible to make any activity for you. And you see, this is uh, our account. And you see, uh, at this account, we have different colors. And uh, colors that we have in yellow, those are examples that I'm discussing in my book, Energy of Health. So that's the easiest topics. And in blue, those are different cases that I want to show you uh, specifically. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, apparently healthy person. So let's go to full screen. And you see this is very closed energy field, very strong, uh, without any big breaks, holes. We have some uh, breaks, but they are not so big. And then we go to analysis. In analysis, we see all the parameters are in normal range. You, may, you was able to see a discussion of different programs uh, by Dmitry Arlov, and you can find it at our, uh, in, in, uh, at our YouTube channel. Then we go to area diagram, and you see area is practically an optimal zone. I pay attention that in area parameters, which we have down here, we have uh, numbers related to zero, which we have in this optimal circle. So this is zero. So above this, it's plus, below that's minus. That is why we have some parameter in minus zone. So you see, so uh, from left hand, I have all parameters in, uh, uh, green zone. Uh, in right hand, we have some parameters in uh, in orange zone. So those are indication of some potential problems or potential weak zones. Then we go to energy diagram. And energy diagram, you see, it is in a very good range. And uh, again, practically all of this in green zone except of one peak. And we discussed with you that all the peaks at the energy diagram, those are indication of some specific uh, situation. And uh, see here this throat or thyroid, and we see same, uh, not very high peak, but at the right hand side. So it may be indication of something. And if we show area diagram here, you see it's absolutely different scale. So the scales of area diagram and energy diagram, those are totally different. And uh, here we have only positive numbers because you understand that energy shouldn't be negative. Then we go to balance program, balance. And you see here we have uh, many bars in green zone. We've been discussing that uh, this 
green zone, green bars related to left hand, they are related to sympathetic nervous system. So when we have so many bars in green, uh, this is dominance of sympathetic nervous system. So even if we have stress level very, very low, still we have dominance of sympathetic nervous system. So it means that for this particular person, we can uh, expect some level of uh, anxiety. And uh, of course, we need to understand which, when was this uh, recording done. If it was done during the process of some activity, for example, for manager uh, during the day, business day, for um, athlete during training, for military personnel during uh, service, then of course it is absolutely normal situation. Because people, when they have some strong activity, they should have some level of excitation. So we need to understand uh, and evaluate when it was done, in which conditions, but still we pay attention to this situation. Then we can go to organs energy. And you see in most cases, those are in green. But we have some indications, coronary vessels. And if we look to uh, the image of cardiovascular system, you see in principle, in principle, those images are quite good. So there, I don't see any strong indication of some serious problem. But still we pay attention to these coronary vessels. Same as we pay attention to this throat, and you remember it was uh, two peaks uh, in uh, uh, energy diagram. So we pay this attention. In column, we have some columns in yellow. So it, it means again, it is more high activity of digestive tract. So again, we need to discuss with this person uh, what's, uh, how long it was after the meal, uh, what's his, uh, but if, I don't expect any serious problem with digestive tract here. So, yes, again, so this apparently healthy person. And uh, for this person, we can see that he is really in good shape. And of course, we can look to chakras. And this is a new image of a chakra. Uh, and you see those chakras are shifted to intravert side. So, and this is very well related to a balance problem. So, this is indication for us that this particular person has something uh, in his mind that is not, uh, doesn't allow him to be totally calm, which makes him more uh, excited, more nervous. And it's all related to his inner uh, emotions, his inner feelings. And of course, we need to understand, we need to discuss with this person what's going on and why he has this situation, what is going on. So this, uh, and of course, uh, you can uh, make some exercises like breathing exercises, physical exercises, and see effect of those exercises this person. And the last but not the least we see biorhythms. Now they are for this particular time because we calculate biorhythms for the particular time and you see all the biorhythms are in good zone so no uh, days when two or three biorhythms uh, come down something. They are quite separate so it's a good station. And of course, uh, we look, need to have a look to fingers. And you see this little finger has some uh, defects, very strange defects, but uh, of course, would it be possible, of course, it would be good to repeat this readings uh, because uh, we need to understand whether it is something wrong 
during capturing or it is really something but it is still only at one finger not at two so we don't have some strong indications so you see no uh, big uh, outbursts no big defects and this is apparently healthy person but still even with this particular person, we see some psychological situations that need to be resolved. And I don't pay attention to Indian programs because uh, this is only uh, for people who are involved in traditional Chinese medicine. For them, it may be helpful. But not if you are not involved in traditional Chinese medicine, then for you it will be for nothing. Okay, so now, Let's go to another situation. Uh, so we have several uh, cases of healthy people. And of course, you can look to this by yourself. OK, let's go to another case uh, that I have in uh, my book. OK, so, so this is a lady. You see this lady has some absolutely clear uh, problems with uh, spine, 100% sure. We need to pay attention to thyroid as well. Uh, because we've been discussing that thyroid is a typical problem for many people now in the world. It is very, very typical to have thyroid dysfunction in this moment. So uh, you need to be uh, very careful when you discuss this situation. And of course, first thing we do, we send person to analysis, uh, thyroid hormones, and ultrasound. And of course, we need to suggest what should be done to balance uh, thyroid energy. Okay, let's go to uh, some other case maybe. That again, this case was described in my book, but still I just want to show you how it looks like. So we see it's some description here. 47 years uh, old, uh, thyroid, okay, some problems that uh, report. Okay, let's have a look, full screen again. And you see here we have many uh, disturbances in the energy field. So they look very strange, so let's have a look to fingers. Yes, we have very strong defects, very strong defects. So those are indication of some really serious situations. So if we go to analysis, we see high level of anxiety. All other parameters are in normal range. Area diagram in very low zone. So even if the overall energy is good, the area diagram is in low zone. Uh, of course, in this case, it is recommended to make readings with filter. Because here we see effect of psycho-emotional state. And as we have high level of stress, then we expect uh, influence of uh, anxiety, uh, stress on the physiological condition. So that's why it is a, uh, recommend, it's recommended to make uh, analysis with photo. Okay, energy diagram again, quite low. Uh, energy uh, reserve is low, but we have very high peaks, very high peaks. This is memory glands, and this is 100% sure the area of attention for this particular lady, uh, and thyroid as well. Again, it is uh, for 100% sure area of attention. Uh, to some extent, uh, right kidney, to some extent, not very strong. So let's look to balance. <clears throat> In balance, not so bad. Not so bad. We don't see this sympathetic parasympathetic misbalance here. And interesting to chakras. Let's look to chakras. You see, even chakras, they are quite well balanced. Quite well balanced. The only one chakra, uh, heart chakra. And this chakra, it is related to heart. Heart, it is organ of love. So uh, this means that this particular person uh, has some serious uh, problems or uh, 
situations with uh, our, our loved ones. And she's 47 years old, so it's just the time of um, transformation. A lot of women has a, a strong transformation by that time. Very, absolutely clear. Okay, so uh, let's look to organ synergy. You see, in a cardiovascular system, we have this red zone, so we expect uh, some uh, problems with uh, veins and uh, vessels. So that we need to pay attention to. To, to, and first of all, to check, uh, to make uh, uh, analysis of arterias. And it's possible to make ultrasound of arterias and to see their conditions. Because this may be really very um, dangerous indication. Dangerous. And uh, people with this type of indication may have, may be prone to cardiovascular problems and uh, some attacks of different kind and some real problem after, from heart attacks to, um, uh, to brain problems to even to Alzheimer. Okay, respiratory system again, respiratory system is seen uh, not in good condition and here we pay attention to memory glands. And of course, we pay attention to a pieces and thyroid gland. And we don't see it here, but we see it here. So that's why we see absolutely clear indication of thyroid problem. So you see it is related to throat and uh, it is maybe related to throat itself, but in most cases it's related to thyroid. So that's absolutely clear what's going on here. Musculoskeletal again spine. If we look again to energy field, you see in spine, you see its disturbances. So we see absolutely 100% sure this person has uh, spine problems. Absolutely sure. Then uh, we look to digestive tract. Oh, you see again red many, many red zones. And of course, immune system in uh, red zone as well. So, and of course, all genital is quite good. So this is typical example, very typical example of a person who has many problems. She's 47 years old. And uh, it's not just one disease. It is many different problems for this lady and uh, it's all related to four pillars of health uh, which i discuss in uh, my book because you see all the systems endocrine system first of all thyroid uh, digestive tract uh, the spine and stress it's all need attention and of course again for this lady as well, it's recommended to make uh, information with filter to see the difference, but I'm sure it will be clear difference. And we look, if we look to fingers, we see confirmation of all this situation. <coughs> Thyroid, you see, here we see it's uh, sector number four and five, <coughs> liver and right kidney. Okay, so that's, again, we pay attention to this. Liver and right kidney, and we paid attention to this before. So it's absolutely clear that this lady needs detoxification. Okay, here we are. Oh, again, right here, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, so it is absolutely clear she needs a detoxification. And uh, you see big difference in different fingers and uh, different biograms. 
this is indication of some imbalance in uh, the overall activity of the body. So that's why, of course, it's uh, recommended to make exercise, breathing exercise, uh, and then uh, to see what will be the effect. And you see here, it is absolutely clear tracks of uh, nails, and here as well. So it would be good to clean those tracks uh, during reckoning. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now interesting case, acute psychosis. You see, in this case, we can tell absolutely nothing about physiological condition. Absolutely nothing. In analysis, you have stress in 10, energy very low, balance low, everything is low, very low. Area diagram is practically inside, same as the energy diagram, you practically don't see. And balance, you see. So it is a case of acute psychosis and uh, it is uh, typical for delirium, alcoholic delirium or drug delirium. And uh, we see that this person is, uh, his condition is totally changed, totally. It's absolutely clear. Uh, of course, would we make his readings with filter, we would have seen another picture. Next topic, this is AIDS. Okay, so this is without filter, no filter, and with filter. Let's compare those two pictures and see. So this is without filter, this is with filter. And you see, in this case, uh, this person has quite strong energy field, very strong. And uh, let me see how the she. No, it's impossible to see. Okay, but uh, okay, we don't know how old is she, but doesn't matter. Okay, so you see, uh, if we go to analysis, we see this uh, without filters, of course, level of stress higher, with filter lower, but it's not very high, it's quite uh, normal. Uh, diagrams, energy diagram, area diagrams, they're quite similar, quite similar. Energy diagram, you see, they are absolutely they are similar as well. So even uh, without filter, of course, it's, um, it's less, but still it's in a good zone, still it's in a very positive zone. And um, energy reserve is 70, uh, 52%. Because of course, energy reserve, we need to operate only without filter. With filter, it doesn't make sense to operate. And you see, so if we look to balance, of course, in balance, we see very high level of anxiety. Here it was normal, but in balance, we see this. Very high level of anxiety. It's understandable, what would you expect? And in chakras, again, this chakra is shifted. We discussed this, this is chakra related to uh, love, to attitude to other people, and it's understandable. This chakra is uh, shifted as well, and this is uh, Manipur chakra. So it is, uh, so I uh, Sudhistana, Sudhistana. Chakra. Okay, so this is uh, solar plexus chakra. Uh, so it's related to uh, fear, and of course we understand again. So it's quite uh, a lot of fear with this situation. With filter, if you look, we see this is uh, uh, shifted as well, but much less. But those chakras are shifted to internal uh, situation. 
Uh, so we understand that this uh, particular lady, uh, or, uh, one more topic, what we need to see in the fields. Yes, compare. Okay, yes, so we see, we see a balance. Okay, without filter, with filter. So again, even with filter, we have very high level of balance. So it is absolutely clear that this particular person, person uh, has a strong energy field, has good energy reserve, very good energy reserve, because it's 52%, uh, very good energy reserve. We don't know whether this person has some medication or not, we don't know this, but still it's very good prognosis. So you understand and you know that with AIDS, people can live quite long time and in good condition. Okay, then we go back, database. Okay, so those are several uh, examples of biopor effect. This is after, this is before. You see, before it was a lot of holes, a lot of breaks, energy 54. Um, in analysis, we see very high level of stress, uh, low balance. Uh, of course, um, in um, uh, here it was no balance at that time, but we understand this. If you look to this diagram, so you understand that it's, it's really serious situation. And this is a situation influenced by stress. And after biopor, you see, totally different situation, totally different. So again, let's compare these two. It's absolutely clear. So before biopor session and after, you see, two absolutely different uh, images and chakras. Before, several chakras was shifted and after, they are much more aligned. Still, there are some shift, but much more aligned. Um, analysis, again, you see, huge difference, tremendous difference. And it's only after 10 minutes of biopore session. So it is uh, indication, very good indication, that biopore has very good effect on uh, people and on their psycho-emotional state. Of course, would we take readings of this particular person after a week of using biopor, we would have seen tremendous change. And we have a lot of reports uh, uh, reports about this um, by now colleagues who report very good results. Let's um, take another initial and after biopor. See 10 minutes difference and after very slow control. We understand that internet now is overloaded. Yes. Many people are sitting at home, so we don't expect fast operation. Okay, here we are. Let's compare as well. Okay, you see again, big difference before and after. In analysis, you see all parameters and mostly level of stress in area diagram after biocore and before big difference so after this much more uh, in positive zone energy diagram before it was you see all inside after it became much better and in balance as well initial uh, you see phew, so many topics so many different balances we understand this. And after, you see it's much better, much better. Still, we have many green bars 
and of course for 10 minutes it's impossible to get rid of all anxiety or all problems but still this situation is much better so we see we have many examples of this kind here we have one more you can have a look one uh, yes um, but uh, if you're interested you can find uh, my paper where I make statistics of, of 50 cases of bipolar influence and uh, it's, it is shown statistically significant difference for most of people and this paper is published in private journal okay now let's go to blend bladder stones okay okay it is 2018 okay so let's have a look okay so in analysis we see high level of anxiety, low level of balance. In area diagram, we see uh, it's mostly in red zone. So that's suppressed energy. Energy diagram, again, it's in low zone. So energy reserve is 33%. It's not bad, but not good as well. And by the way, let me see what's up here. Yeah. Let's come back. Yes, here we are. Okay, no, it's no information about the age of this person, unfortunately. Okay, uh, so in balance, you see, uh, not, it's, it's quite an unbalanced. And here we see dominance of a parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, so it, some, um, it may create some type of stagnation people with this type of uh, parasympathetic dominance they are more slow compared with other people uh, organs energy a lot of red zone which we pay attention to and again we see this is all uh, in accordance with four pillars of health we uh, don't uh, discard the cardiovascular system and you understand why it is in my book but here of course we pay attention to this and if we look to fingers we see this very specific defects very very specific and those are indications so it's uh, number five or a genital system so it's indication of bladder stone very aggressive indication in absolute clear so if we see this indication of course it is clear indication of some serious situation so that's what we have here and we have it both at one finger and another finger and even it reflected to another fingers as well so in other organs and systems so we understand this particular person needs a lot of attention with this situation. Okay. In this mode, it's not very fast. Okay. Here we are. In sharing stop somehow. Okay, so let me uh, open this Bioval account again and then we can share screen. Okay, here we are. Yes, here we are. Okay, let's go to another. We, uh, I, I don't want to discuss cancer today. Maybe, maybe we'll discuss it in the next session. They want to discuss different cases. Okay, okay. So chronic fatigue. This is interesting case, very interesting case. This is a person of 52 years old. And I know his person quite well. And uh, he had a strong stress. And then uh, everything became normal. So strong stress was in September, but in October he um, uh, developed many 
and negative symptoms. Weakness, vomiting, lack of breathing, pains in different parts, headache, uh, pains in legs, and of course, uh, for him, it was difficult, more and more difficult to have everyday activity. So, and then he came to me, you see, it was in December, uh, and I pay attention, 52 years old, and I knew this person before. So he's very good businessman, very prosperous, but he's very uh, nervous person. And okay, let's have a look in analysis. We see, all parameters in optimal zone in area diagram. Absolutely optimal situation, energy diagram. Optimal with energy reserve 76%. What would you expect? So we see that all parameters are in absolutely normal zones. And you see here, all green. So same was conclusion of, uh, except of head area. Same conclusion was done in medical university where he <coughs> was, um, he had analysis of all his health and they found no problems at all. So all his health was totally normal, absolutely normal. So what's going on? But still, as I told, he was losing energy, less and less energy. And then look to the balance, you see? It is absolutely clear, very strong sympathetic dominance. So what has happened? He had strong stress, very strong stress. And during stressful situation, he knew that he need to be strong, that he need to overcome the situation, and he uh, compressed his, himself and did everything to overcome the situation. Then everything became normal, but his system still was in tension and his sympathetic nervous system still was very active. And then uh, the sympathetic nervous system uh, start influencing for all his physiological activity. So all his physiological activity was under the influence of sympathetic nervous system. And you understand this is uh, of course, uh, related to all organs and systems, plus pay attention to your spine, you see? He was a former athlete, uh, playing hockey a lot, different uh, games, and his spine is not in good condition. Same as his, many of his bones. Yes. He had some problems with knees, uh, it was serious problems. Uh, so we understand that um, spine condition plus this sympathetic dominance created overall stress, physiological stress. And his physical body is absolutely good, totally good. But stress does not allow him to function. Such as, uh, as if his body tells him, please stop, let me relax and let me transform to a new situation. So I've told him, okay, what you need to do, you need to relax. Please go to your country house, have some uh, simple physical activity. Every night take a warm bath, go to a sauna, uh, read uh, stupid books, watch stupid movies, do anything to, uh, to disrupt yourself from your business and from your problems. And then you need maybe a month, maybe two months to recover. So after two months, he, I met him and he told everything's fine. He followed my advices <clears throat> and everything became totally fine. So you see it's typical station of this or this uh, chronic fatigue. Another case of chronic fatigue, it's a lady and you see her energy is not very strong, big gaps, 
in this area. Uh, here we have some uh, thyroid problems in area diagram, in analysis. You see very high level of stress here. In area diagram, you see this is far away from optimal zone. Many uh, organs and systems are in negative zone. In energy diagram, same, same station. In balance, again, we see many uh, green bars. So again, dominance of sympathetic nervous system. So same conclusion, so absolutely same. Uh, we expect and we know from discussion with this lady that she has many symptoms, pains, uh, digestive problems, uh, some headache, insomnia, bad sleep, nervousness. She's very nervous if you look to organ energy, you see nervous system, immune system, what would you tell? So again, you see. So we see it's a lot of negative stations, but they are more in very strong, uh, they are related to her stress level and anxiety level. Of course, uh, she needs some training, special training to get rid of this. And uh, we strongly recommend her to go to uh, some training like uh, meditation, Tai Chi, Qigong, yoga, but she told that she's very busy. Okay, everybody result, uh, decide <laughs> uh, for themselves. We can only recommend something. Okay, so another case. Okay, this is case of electromagnetic sensitivity. Okay, interesting case as well. Look, practically ideal energy field. In analysis, you see very low stress level on the border, 2.1. And we've been discussing with you that when a stress level is very low, it may be indication of stagnation. Area, low energy, but still very round uh, energy diagram. In, in optimal zone. Balance, nothing. Practically nothing. Organ synergy, you see everything in, in green zone. But if you look to fingers, you see many red noise inside the fingers. And those images, they look like images of metal cylinder, very similar. So this is indication of stagnation. The system is stagnated. It has no informational transfer in the body. So this body is like shocked by the electromagnetic radiation. It responded strongly to electromagnetic radiation and that's why uh, the system is not operating properly and of course this lady may have different symptoms totally absolutely different symptoms but all of them are quite negative all those symptoms so uh, it is very difficult to deal with this type of people and first of uh, we need to recommend them of course to get rid of all electromagnetic instruments. For this, first of all, they need to make some protection in their environment, in first of all, in the bedroom. Uh, they need to use grounding, you know, grounding, and uh, there are different means of grounding. Uh, and of course, most important is when they sleep. In the worst case, uh, it is possible to cover all the walls of bedroom with conductive uh, painting or conductive layers and uh, grounded. And uh, it's possible to have some uh, protective clothing. Now you can find on the internet some hats, uh, some scarves, uh, even 
uh, parts of clothing uh, that protect the body from electromagnetic radiation. So that's, and then of course, um, it's, it would be good to have this readings with uh, uh, and without. Uh, this is okay. This was initial 53 years old per sensitivity. And this was after 20 minutes in uh, uh, with turn off electromagnetic devices. But you see, even uh, even if you turn off electromagnetic devices, you are still under the influence of uh, Wi-Fi and different electromagnetic waves. So, if you turn it off in your room, it has nothing to do with protection, because there are so many electromagnetic waves in space around yourself and uh, now we have problems on mobile phone you can detect at least many wi-fi's around yourself so only to go to totally protective protected room like uh, faraday cage <coughs> and this room you can find in laboratories or in some specific uh, cases so then you can expect something uh, real and if we compare this, uh, you see practically no difference. Because again, uh, if you turn off your own devices, it has practically no effect. So that's why I don't think we can see a big difference here. It's really so. Okay, one more case, one more case of Parkinson's disease. Uh, this is person uh, whom I know for many years as well. And you understand that Parkinson is very serious problem. And uh, this person lived with this problem for many years. And you see this reading was from 2012, two readings, then 2015, two readings, then 2000 uh, without and uh, so it's in this filter but again not so good and then uh, after stem cells here you see we have absolutely clear effect of therapy and uh, in five years this person was able to uh, behave normally uh, he is very good, big scientist. Uh, he is able to do a lot of research work. He is coming to his institute every day. Um, he is presenting at conferences, lectures. So um, that's why it is really outstanding station, but only uh, because he is using different medications and stem cells from time to time. In this case, using stem cells is really uh, it makes very good effect, beneficial effect. In many cases, stem cells may be dangerous, you know this. So we would never recommend to use stem cells just for fun or to become younger. It is, it may be very, very dangerous. Okay, so let's stop our sharing. And uh, you see, so this was our first lesson in the, on this topic. Uh, if you like it, please write down your responses because I can discuss many other cases. We have a lot of information with many cases, but we need your response to proceed this. So if you like, please write to us to my uh, company, uh, to me, to company email, to Dmitry Arlov, and then we decide whether it is useful for you and do we need to proceed it. Okay, thank you so much and see you.